Majority of people are not happy with their health and well-being. It's staggering how true that is. And when that happens, emotions are always in the picture. One of the most underrated and powerful aspects of our well-being and health is our emotions. It's worth knowing that as humans, we make decisions based on our emotions and justify those decisions based on logic. And the reason why majority of people are not where they want to be with health, self-image, life in general, is not because they don't eat more veggies and fruits. It's not because they don't know what to do when it's time to exercise, although that could be part of the picture as well. And certainly not because they're lazy, because I hear that very often. The major reason is because most people don't understand how emotions work and really don't take time to master them. So we can learn to guide our emotions instead of living by design, or we can let our emotions run by default and really continue to be unhappy. So my message to you is if your well-being, health, is really something that means more to you, really take time to learn more about your emotions because taking steps toward mastering them is one of the first steps for your health and well-being.